Hello and welcome to this week's episode of The Capitalist Investor. As always, you have me, Diamond Hands D, and we got Tony with us as well. What's going on, guys? Living the dream. Yeah. Yeah. So, hey, we uh, <clears throat> last topic we talked about was uh, renting versus buying. Uh, so that kind of uh, spurred a little uh, conversation here amongst us. Uh, so we wanted to talk about, you know, the population uh, in general. Um, and, and kind of uh, what you hear about population collapse in the news a lot with, you know, Elon Musk talks about it quite a bit. Uh, but, you know, what what that kind of means long term, I think, um, is uh, not really talked about that often. Uh, so we thought it was a good little maybe quick little quick little episode here to, to talk about that and, and kind of the realities of, of what might be down the road. This is one of the most important things, I think, that isn't really talked about. Elon Musk talks about it. Um, because really it's the whole world's a Ponzi scheme. You need more minds, more people to grow an economy, to produce something, to invest, to, uh, build real estate, to fill those houses. Like we talked about last week or a couple of days ago on the podcast. So like it's, it takes all of that to operate a system and you need more minds to do all that and more people. And the problem is people just aren't having kids as much. And even if you are having kids, you're usually having one or one or two, you're not having three, four, five, six, right? Like even more back in 200 years ago, you had 10 <laughs> kids, right? So like it's the slowdown in that kind of growth, especially from here in the United States, um, immigration's filling that void a little bit. You see 10,000 people crossing the border every single day, whether that's good or bad, which is not probably not, Good in a lot where did of ways. 10 million people go? <laughs> <laughs> Ten people entered the United States and uh, I'd love to know where they're at. Yeah, <laughs> but immigration's anyway, filling that <laughs> immigration's filling that void here in the U.S. for now. But eventually, once the immigration spigots turned off, or uh, you know, when everyone around the world is just not reproducing kids, then you have kind of the Ponzi scheme collapse on itself. And the thought is, technology and AI, whatever it be, will replace the system, will create productivity, and then people can kind of sail off in the sunset. We'll have more time to do whatever they want. And technology and AI will, AI will continue to grow the economy as long as even if there's no people. But I want to talk about whether that's a good or bad thing. There's different theories out there. The, you know, the whole thought is the you know economy kind of collapses if there's not minds to fill. But some people say that you know it just gives people more time and more resources to accumulate for themselves, essentially to share the resources. With well, I mean, people. you have people like you know Bill Gates saying, you know, brilliant mind there, telling us we're overpopulated <laughs> and we're using up resources and things like that. Um, but I mean, it's just expensive to have children these days. Right. Um, yeah. and the, the biggest thing is, is like a lot of the, the, I mean, just look at our, our entitlements. Social security was built on more people working than the recipients. <laughs> and in 10 years from now, roughly, there's going to be two people working for every recipient of social security. When the, when social security was first designed, it was like 40 to one, <laughs> like, what happens right and and if if this generation's not having children who's going to take care of them when they're old yeah nobody ai a robot <laughs> come, come wipe your butt I don't well, know. that's that's a huge issue um it's like i just love what i'm concerned listen if you don't have kids like i get it like no not everyone wants to have kids i get that um it's just one of those things like there are these things i don't think a lot of people think about when they're 20 or 30 some years old and they're like, I decided I don't want to have kids that young. Like if, if you put your thought process in like, Hey, like I know when I'm 67 years old, I won't have anyone to, to wipe my butt, like to, to take care of me. Like I, I know that. Um, then that's, that's fine. But a lot of people don't have those own conversations themselves. They're like, Hey, it's just too expensive. Not going to have kids. And then next thing you know, it's like, wow, 67 years old comes around. It's like, wow, I made the wrong, maybe mistake. Like, <laughs> Maybe I just maybe I just should have invested the money and dealt with the pain a little bit of spending a little extra cash to have a kid. I don't know. I don't have kids yet, but one of the reasons I got engaged is it's part of my conversation. Like now, that's what I I decided for myself. I want to try to be a young father, younger father. Like I want to be yeah. 39, 40 having my first kid. I want to Yeah, like I mentioned, I, I started yeah. later. I had my first child and yeah, my only child at 40. That. But like it just right? I, everyone just got their different philosophies on life and it's it's interesting. Yeah. Um I don't know, man. I just feel that the world is the world it, a lot of things would have to change cuz the world right now is built on, you know, the young helping the old. And yeah. when there's no young to help 
the future old, that sounds like a big problem. And I don't know if there's technology is really going to help that. Yeah. I mean, I mean, but again, technology moves so quickly. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I, I mean, there could be robots helping us take care of ourselves. <laughs> well, would a robot be considered a person almost? When you're saying like, okay, so down, coming down the road, if people aren't working jobs, if people have more time, if, you know, we allocate the resources growth of the economy to those robots and tech, like, then you have a robot tax. That's, I mean, but that's, you have to have... That, that's scary though, because if a robot takes my job, what am I going to do? Right. Well, that's. I'm talking. Question. I'm talking about money. Like, what have, am I, how am time, I going to no afford <laughs> my life? Well, that's UBI. When this robot took my job. That's the whole thought of UBI, universal basic income, comes in there because the robot tax is going to fund UBI. <laughs> robot tax. And then you have more. <laughs> okay, so you have more time. Let's go through that hypothetical. That's, all right. It also goes along with everything we're talking about. Is that good or bad? Is, is it good or bad if people have more time? Because our human beings meant to be out working, doing things. What do you guys do in your free time? I'm sure you guys are good and you don't, you don't self implode and do bad things. But <laughs> <laughs> not everyone's like that. There's a lot of people out there that, you know, would self implode in a lot of ways. Yeah, if they had like more time. I, hey, I, I feel I like to work. It keeps me right. busy. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So that when I do something fun, it's enjoyable. Exactly. If I, if I golfed every day, I'd take it would. Right. Come up more of a chore. I did that in high school. They, I did, I literally had, well, I quote unquote had to golf four days a week. I didn't want to touch a club on the weekend. What's that? Just too much. What's that guy from the we just were talking about from the Nuggets, the basketball player? Uh, Jokic. Yo, yeah, he literally did an interview and he said like, "Hey, I hate basketball. Like, the only reason <laughs> I do this is for a job. Mm -hmm. It's like you do anything. That's supposed to be fun." <laughs> Oh, it was AI. Oh, <laughs> you can't trust anything in today's world. It's all AI. It was him AI. Fact. That's a that's a serious it, thing, man. It was AI, it. but he, he has basically said that though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I, I I generally think it's it will be a mix, good and bad. If people have more free time, some people would spend more time with the family. Maybe go travel, go see the world, do things they want to do. To you know, but uh, how do they afford life. that? It's if you have more time, that mm -hmm. means you need funding to do this that. is the whole communist Marxism <laughs> conversation is really what it is. Mm -hmm. The whole concept of Marxism and kind of communism is like, hey, if we all like just, you know, pour our resources together and equally distribute, oh, we'll be as fun and happy place. We'll be able to do whatever we want in theory, but it just doesn't work. Practicality doesn't work. Yeah. So that's what, again, I'm concerned about. We're heading towards this like Marxist communist path mm -hmm. with AI technology less people like it's like it's the system's going to self implode possibly if that's the case. So how do we not get that and be comfortable and okay with that day by day? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> kind of go day by day and make sure that doesn't happen to us. And that's why we're spreading our good word. <laughs> yep. For sure. <laughs> Interesting debate though, for sure. Interesting to see um, how, how things keep uh, progressing uh, moving forward. But, but yeah, the, it would be such a drastic change because today's economy is just, you know, built on you know, capitalism spending. Uh, you know, I think 75 percent of our economy is consumer spending. So capitalism is great to go from that to a, you know, different system altogether. Uh, I don't know how that that would happen. Yeah, <laughs> it would be quite quite a transition. But uh, you never know. You know when it would happen when capitalism breaks. <laughs> It's already breaking. Mm -hmm. Yep. By external factors. Yeah. It's not the capitalism part that's breaking. Uh, yeah, that's mm -hmm. fair. That's fair. hundred percent. So. Well, I'd love to hear your thoughts. I mean, this is, I mean, the viewers thoughts, like, you know, send us in your thoughts, like any kind of questions, like philosophical kind of deep <laughs> questions like yeah. this. So I enjoy talking about this <laughs> right. stuff. Like it, it, cause this all applies. All finance markets are, are a study of, people and behaviors yep for yep. sure so it's all philosophical behavior driven right so i enjoy having these kind of conversations yep all right well thanks everyone for listening this week uh if you have any questions comments show ideas hit us up at info at swpconnect.com and we'll talk to you next week the opinions expressed in the podcast are for general informational purposes only and are not intended to provide specific advice or recommendations for any investment, legal, financial, or tax strategy. It is only intended to provide education about the financial industry. Please consult a qualified professional about your individual needs.